Over by the landing pad is probably like the dock, if I had to guess. Um, let's have a little bit of a quick look around to see if we find a gravesite that looks obviously important. Nope. Couple of them are recent. None of them seem to have an interaction query with a shovel. Maybe I should have the shovel out and then try and... Okay, no. <laughs> that's, that's not a thing. If I'm walking around here with the shovel, though, Silas should probably be a little concerned about it. I'm just saying. Keep an eye open, bud. Interesting. Uh, Samuel Cadden, lifetime net value, 6,385 bits. Like a top score? None of the rest of these even have markings on them. Sneak over the grave. Uh, yeah, it's not seeming to help. None of the rest of these have markings on them, so we have literally... Oh, hang, hang on. Uh, Vicky O'Neill, epitaph pending calculation. So you're not even remembered by date of birth or an epitaph of, you know, survived by those she loved, you know, that kind of thing. I do like gravestone gags. Last time that value, 3,092 bits. Theodore Granger. They're usually chock full of references and a little, uh, couple jokes, but like, especially in Obsidian games, like commonly they do this. But it doesn't look like they're doing it much here at all. I will check all of them because I'm not letting any jokes get past me. We should probably also read some more of the item texts as we pick them up. All right, fine. Nothing seems to be possible to do with the shovel in this area. I had to check. You know I had to. Uh, it was that. All right then, buddy. I'm um, coming over the hills. Oh. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting behemoths. Well, primals, really, but. Ooh! Nice one. Thank you, Pavati. I'm gonna stagger you here. 17 more deaths incoming? I don't know what you're talking about. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Plasma does more damage to Primals. Uh, mm, yeah. Okay. So, actually, what are the elemental weaknesses and bonuses of certain enemies? Because, like, Plasma seems like organic enemies. Shock, obviously, seems like robotic enemies. Uh, outside of that, is there any important things that I should be keeping an eye on? Because if there are, I'd like to be kept abreast of them. No permadeath, huh? How quaint. Okay, look. If there was permadeath in this game, I would... Uh, I mean, our playthrough would have been... Uh, 25 minutes long. Because I still wouldn't have been able to stop myself from trying to do it. You kidding me? Huh. Must have been my imagination. That was just a warning shot to get Birdie out into the open. It was it was tactical. Definitely didn't miss because I'm bad. I uh, missed for some other reason. Tactical, of course. Oh, pl please sit down. I like it. 
So basically, if I score a headshot, I should have a kill on pretty much any target at this rate. Come on. You get that cannon? 20 minutes of the 25 minute playthrough would have also been character creation, 100%. Just me debating exactly. Huh. Just debating exactly how much of this character would be based on me. Honestly, like most of it is straight already. Again, I should be taking this all rival and bringing. What if I could set like a type of weapon as like, as soon as you pick this weapon up, it's to break it down. Hmm? Something like that. Also, one thing I do want to know, are these... Okay, the campfires aren't explosive. They are in like Shadow of Mordor and games like that. I was just wondering, just in case. <laughs> Have I already looted this whole area? Oh, yeah, I did. I actually, I liberated this area at the very start of the game and then looted it all. But obviously the, yeah, obviously the character I was looking for wasn't here at the time. Get him. Oh, it's not space. I'm not used to engaging with ladders like that. I'm used to just jumping on them and ascending. Unfortunately, I cannot take this trusty drying pan. All right, we got some fingers to turn in. Let's go do that. <laughs> Only red things are explosive? I mean, the campfire is a little bit red, but also yellow things are explosive in this game. Like I was, I was working with the assumption that only red things are explosive, but it, uh, it, it led me astray. This game is colorblind friendly. Yeah, I believe this game was uh, developed exclusively with that in mind. Like, there's not a colorblind mode because it was developed to be colorblind, uh, colorblind friendly, rather. Actually, I know why that is. Tim Kane, uh, one of the one of the designers for the game, also the uh, the lead game designer for Fallout One. Um, Tim Kane is a rare type of colorblind where basically everything is grayscale. Almost everything is grayscale for him. Uh, which led the the development of this. Or right, at least like the color development. Interesting fact, that. I put my whole life in that cannery. You must be very proud. <laughs> Got my hands full at the moment. Make it quick, please. Uh... Didn't I just liberate you from some raiders? Must be thinking of someone else. Pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Guillaume's. Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. I was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Ooh, 500 bits. Okay. Mabel Whoa. Burgess, age 37, right or left-handed? Let's just say no longer applicable. I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. Mm-hmm. One more. Here we are. Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Yeah. Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint to ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. Junior Deputy Constable's badge. What's this? You've done such a bang up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a loyal uh, Spaces Choice company man. If you ignore the fact that I'm about to murder a lot of you. Uh, how did uh, so many of people end up murderers? Let me stop you there. 
It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all Marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people. That doesn't really answer my question. Marauders are folk who lost the will to keep working, wandered out into the wilds and gave into their baser instincts. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turn deserter, some turn marauder. None of them get my sympathy. <laughs> Deserters get mine. Uh, marauders seem to like Adrena time, that is true. Everybody likes Adrena time. It is the finest medical drug ever developed by Spacer's Choice. Much better than that crap anti Cleo petals. Sure, a little too much Adrena time can bring out the violent animal in you, but if overdosing on Adrena time turns you into a lunatic, you have only yourself to blame. Says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of Adrena time. I think Constable Reyes probably uses Adrena time. <laughs> uh, uh, there was something I wanted to ask what? you. Got some questions for you. You work for Space Choice or Edgewater? Sleep. We're done. I mean, also, we finally got you to leave the station, so can I close the door and then start stealing? Feel a stranger. Hello. You picked a fine time to visit, stranger. Uh, I'm guessing you're the foreman. Grace, I fees. I'm here to collect. Let's go for the first one first. Foreman Granger, mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. I don't work for you. Grace, I fees. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. You have to pay for your neighbor's graveside fees, or that's kind of you, I guess. I'm going to go with the second one, but I do believe the first one. If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. You said this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. I like Phyllis now. Can I give you your gravesite fees back? It's an awful thing to say. No, it must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. That's an awful thing to say about your closest relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. <laughs> Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Oh! Now I hate you again! What are they gonna do? Arrest his corpse? Vandalism, huh? Did you have, uh, did you have to clean bits of him off the wall or something? I love both of those. Uh, what are they gonna do? Arrest his corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's Choice. Mass punishment is like... Like, ma mass punishment uh, based on the actions of one individual of like uh, uh, for a group is literally a war crime. Just, just gonna, just gonna, you know, literally. Uh, he was a person, not an asset. What if you didn't? This Eugene guy sounds like more trouble than he was worth. Well, excuse you. I'll have you know, Eugene was an asset to us all. May his atoms be commended to the law. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Found your letter to Conrad about uh, Eugene, by the way. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to go rifling through other people's correspondence? You're giving me a dressing down right now? You're a grave robber! Excuse you. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein already belong to Spacer's Choice. And we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Never mind. I don't have to explain myself to you. So 
So I'm spinning a tail about a lost colony ship. Talk like that, I'll get you deported real quick. Uh, yep. There's nothing else I can do here. Oh, well, well, now I'm fine that I've taken your fees. Uh, unfortunately, the fees aren't given to me as bits, so I don't have the ability to collect the fees and then not turn in the mission, uh, which I would like the freedom to do. Quickly make sure there's no loot in here. Eh, gourmet soul tuna, not interested. Actually, I think I may have looted this area already. I think there's just like a couple things still here left for me. Okay. I just started playing the Outer Worlds. I lowered my intelligence. It just feels right. Uh, yeah. Actually, hang on it. Yeah, I'm not even crouching yet. Oops. Um, yeah, the this game does have the the different dialogue options if your character is of a certainly low intelligence. I love it. I cannot wait to play through it in the future. Especially because like I really like the idea of this character being kind of like oh you know like bit clever, bit bit conniving, maybe just a little just a little manipulative as well in order to get their ways in the world. Uh, but then we can completely change character archetype and go for like a bruiser, like a giant Malay kind of thing going on later. Ooh. Okay, so you can't do the air dash when you are over encumbered. I say dumb stuff in conversations. It's accurate for me. Yeah, I mean a lot of the a lot of the dumb options are um uh, because of reasons which you know those are things i've definitely said before uh yeah let's just drop these assault rifles now that doesn't work hang on how do how do you do this so i was told that i needed to level up dash uh blocks so that i could get the dash but it doesn't seem like it wants to hang on Ah, there we go. I did all of that for two energy cells. Is there like any early loot that you're supposed to grab with this whole dash thing? Because if there isn't, then... God, I feel like I wasted some points. Oh, this is the cannery. Of course, but of course. Uh, so now we have a few more people to get stuff from. So let's go for side quests. Let's trade the manual. Well, I mean, the Vicar, Vicar de Soto is probably going to be mad at us. So we also should do the General of M. Bacon, uh, Baconu first. Let's go for the small grave matter, though. This is considered a task, not a quest. Interesting. Abernathy, Conrad, found a note on Conrad. Perhaps you can use the information from it to convince Conrad to pay his gravesite fees. All right, let's go convince Conrad to pay his gravesite fees. Where is the barber in town? Uh, uh. Ah, here we go. Oh, Conrad, Conrad. Uh, I found out about your plan to steal the gold teeth from Eugene. Oh, you're so stunned that I found out that you're just going to sit there and act like you don't know. Don't act, don't act dumb. Don't act dumb. I'm going to make you pay your gravesite fees. Conrad? Conrad? He's napping. I'll be back later. A lot to steal here, at least, though. This Academy Award winning acting right there. It's the some of the worst acting I've ever done in my entire life. Hey, he's just playing possum. All right. Next person I want to talk to. Not a big drinker? Uh, Not in game. At least yet. Power's gone. God knows how long. Looking to get drunk? Just felt like chatting. Didn't even feel like chatting. Just felt like saying, hey, what's up? All right. 
35 over here. Cool. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Ooh, you might have a plague. Sounds like some plague talk going on there. Let's close the door just in case. Never mind. So apparently I'm not allowed to close this door, which would it, it would tend to imply to me that they expect that I'm going to commit a crime in here. Uh, so I'm going to auto save. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Yep. Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Take it easy, Mr. Thompson didn't send me. Uh, you want to tell me what's got you so nervous? I heard you muttering to yourself. I mean, like, the latter two are the same, basically. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? So you're Martin Alamanathy, I'm here to collect a gravesite fees. I'm positive you mentioned something about being plagued. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait, no. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the man. <sighs> Please, don't tell the constable. I love it. You got the player, get away from your level, why not? You should put your sign on your door or something, at least cover your mouth. Let's go for the two. She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage is all. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? Uh, do a good turn for an expiring old man? Of course. I can help. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break it, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I wonder if uh, my questions will actually be addressed here. Not so fast, I got some questions. Uh, why can't you just buy some medicine yourself? I assume there are guards, I've had enough. I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. In other words, the company won't treat you because you're already sick. Come now, Abernathy, you don't look a day over 90. I tell myself the same thing every morning. You seen those young workers at the cannery? What with their unbent spines and pristine knee joints? I can't compete with that. <laughs> Come on, Abernathy. Please, you don't look a day over dead. Uh, I assume there are guards. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. Uh, what can you tell me about him? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Good enough. You'll do it then. I'll do it. Will you oblige me with your haste? I feel the plague is spreading. Oh, Lord, so my spleen now I can feel it. Anything I should know about community center? I'm here to correct your grave light fees. You're taking an awful risk. Trusting me, you know. Let's go for the first one. Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. How dare they? That's the worst part about Marauders. They'll go to an area, kill everyone in there, eat half of the corpses. Then they'll track mud all over my lovely, lovely carpets. Frankly, I'm most offended by that. Need to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Look, I got my gravesite fees right here. See? I'm good for my word. Get me that medicine, and I'll see to your payment. Taking an awful risk trusting me? Um, you know what? I'm not even going to tell you that. There are conversational paths. I'm just not even going to go down. Working for who? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Mm. 
my character has a weakness for pretty girls. My character is just wandering through these areas, just going pretty, pretty. Um. All right, let, let's do the medical one at the least. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh, he's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. No, I like getting implicated. <laughs> hey, let me worry about that. Love it. All right, here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town. And we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape. So I'm reaching out to you. Don't just think with your little friend. It's not a little friend think. Pretty. Pretty. Uh, Abernathy is paying me for my trouble. Can you match his offer? I get it. You need someone to smuggle your medicine under the table. Um. Well, it seems like Esther is also trying to help someone here. Although, I'm a degree removed from those people. Something like that. Look, I went for smuggling. I'm one. not in the habit of lawbreaking, but sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. Agreed. That's all I can ask of you. Well, I mean, this is a situation where I do think that my character would probably side with Esther. He's dead. This is going to throw a wrench into my actuarial tables. Technically. Yeah, nothing else that I need to know from you. From you. Uh, and then on the outside of town towards the docks, so this should be fine. Everyone said you've been watching for a while and never been able to catch a stream. Well, I'm glad you were able to catch this one. How's it going, Salty? Thank you for tuning in. Oh, no, I guess I just turn in Silas's mission right now. No, wait, Ludwig. Still need Ludwig. There we go. Oh, Dubswolf, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, I will read the attached message in just a moment. I think I'll try and complete this quest. I also do need to like change my you know, stream notifications and stuff like that. They're all very, very like stock standard and basic. I, I was thinking of changing them just before I started this stream, but in order to change them, I now have to download Streamlabs OBS and then set that up. And it's just, uh, a bit much. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I love the wind here. I love the law that Pavati is just spouting as we walk around. It kind of, it, it reminds me a lot of like Raul and Boone in Fallout New Vegas. Like just encountering a certain area and going, oh yeah, here's some story about this area and my interaction with it. It's just, it's nice and characterful and lawful. It's good. It's good. Very good. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. I guess I am wearing your armor. Attention. Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. What are you battling about? You seem okay. Uh, sorry, are you okay? You seem confused. Silas sends me. Uh, let's go, Silas. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. What are you babbling about? The war. The coming apocalypse. Man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Progress has developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Our bitterness has made us car. <laughs> Our cleverness has made us hard and unkind. Our and bitter, and I can't remember the rest of the speech off the top of my head. Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I gotta watch out for those mechanicals. I mean, I agree. I saw the mechanicals slaughter an entire area. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. 
clattering about, firing at the birds, orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? I mean, if you're a loyal company man, I have bad news about uh, the, the people that control those uh, automatons. Uh, if your resistance needs are gone, I'm for hire. Got a question for you. Go on. Uh, what exactly do you do here? What do you have against mechanicals? Let's go with us. I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. If your resistance needs a gun, I'm fine. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans, mostly. Some spaces chaw. Few bit cards. I'll reward you for your aid. Proper armies pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees? Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. What do you need done? They have sent a scout. Prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. If someone inside Space's Choice is going to pay me to destroy Space's Choice property, I'm doing it. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. I did read about the blue glowy square things in uh, engineering class. All right, good. Let's bounce. Whoo, you have a tinkering station? Excuse me, get the hell out of my way. I would like to tinker. Excuse me. Thank you. I would also like to you know, rob you absolutely blind. So I'm just gonna, cheers. Pavati <laughs> could have revealed my uh, d uh, dishonesty. It was. Hey, I saw that. What do you think you're doing? Um, mm, nothing. Carry on. Cool, got him. Just nothing. Just nothing at all. That's what you're talking about. Oh, I'm innocent. All right. Uh, magnesium size of this at the moment. Forty-five more on this. Eh, you know, because yeah, I think I'm fine without it. I think I'm fine without that one. I can bounce. All right, these are actual vendors. I was wondering what was going on with us. Uh, let's just uh, sell some junk. Trema Cleaver. It's not the best cleaver. It's the... Wait. It is the best cleaver. Its throbbing blade will pulsate its way into even the most recalcitrant dissident. Gotta love the diction in these games. Magpix. That's probably the thing I'm most interested in purchasing from these. Restricted stock. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, so... I might want to get to the next level of... Da, 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 da. Uh, where is it? Hack. Un yeah, unlock access to the restricted items in vending machines. So the component can only be... Oh, sorry. The Yeah, yeah. The, the base skill unlocks can only be activated, it seems, by having the actual skill. God, I really can't wait until I get to change the anti-aliasing for this game because that hair looks really bad right now. That's one of the settings that I need to go into the INI files to fix. Alright, while I'm here, let's do a once over. Find all of the mag picks and then leave. Okay, keep it quiet. Yeah, kind of worth. Lockpicking also just straight up gives me experience. Uh, can anyone explain WTF anti-aliasing is? Sure. 
Uh, so if you zoom in really, really, really far on a PC, you'll find that there are pixels there. Uh, and because pixels are in a grid, it's difficult to make a straight line with pixels. Uh, or rather, a, a straight diagonal line with pixels. So anti-aliasing is the effect by which it smooths out lines of, like, pixel, 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 pixel. Uh, this is probably the, the simplest way to explain it. I, I, I couldn't go into, like, a depth of a technical explanation, though. If anyone in chat can, I'd appreciate it. On the behalf of uh, Lord Adamant. This area kind of looks barren. Aliasing is the effect where you have straight lines become jaggy. Anti-aliasing uses various kinds of blurring to make that not jaggy. Okay. I yeah, I feel pretty confident with my explainer. Um, it's something back there. It looked like a green container thing. I Really? Mm. I don't know. Back near the edge. Hidden between stuff. Ah, hello. It's a nondescript metal ring. It was fine. If you did the design degree and you would have summed up, uh, wouldn't have summed it up as nicely as either of you. Uh, largely, like, the old uh, tech breakdowns that people used to do, like a new game would come out and then they would explain all of the different options and the option setting and you know, the FPS impacts of each of those different options. That's how I learned what anti-aliasing was. And I'm doing a software engineering degree. I I probably should have. I'm doing a software engineering degree. I'm very interested in games and video. I probably should have learned it in a different way, but you know, however you come across it. All right, we're fine. Let's go back to the front. Talk to Silas. Oh, no, I have explored this area. Good. Whew. It's just an option on Photoshop that makes my life easier. Yeah. Totally fail. Hey, old Silas. Here's your fees. Wrong button. I don't button. see the sense in all this fussing over the power. Cannery shutting down just means I'll have more bodies to bury. John Wolf, thank you very much for the subscription. Much appreciated. Enjoy your remotes in chat and welcome to the Republic. Uh, hey, about those fees you wanted. You run into any trouble? <laughs> that, I'm guessing that's a silly pseudonym gifting us up. So thank you, silly, as well. Much appreciated. It's all done. Paperwork fees and signatures. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's going to take some getting used to. Sweet Six, I went out of my way for you. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. As long as that got me some more experience. I was hoping for something more tangible. Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Ooh. Much appreciated. Abernathy was trying to hide his own illness. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. He was convinced you knew. What? No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Oops. Yeah. Uh, if if Silas ends up reporting him and we fail the mission as a result of that, I'm actually super interested in that, like, being the outcome. So the journal now wants me to do Stranger in Strange Land. Let's do the illustrated manual. Instead. 319 over in that direction. Do I have any closer teleports? I do. I mean, also the Emerald Vale Community Center is where I have another thing to complete here. What with cigarettes? Hmm. I don't have, I need my, uh, I, I need a, a, a slower hard drive because I don't have time to read these. What? You respawn in the area and you didn't even tell me. Hi. 
I see nothing. Entry saber. Thank you. Go take care of those body. I got more looting. Oh, no, there is nothing else to loot in here. Fine, I'll help you then. Oh. There's like a small interactable... Oh, interesting. Oh. A little small interactable in there. Okay, so the items are sometimes hidden in items as well. Lovely to know. Break those down. And I've already been knocked a little off track. You should be fine. Enemies respawn, but loot doesn't. Yeah. Seems to be that way. You disable the radar on the top of the UI. Can you actually? I'd be interested in doing that. Show base item stats. No. Floating damage text. I don't really care about the floating damage right now. HUD visibility. You can just straight up turn it off. Lovely. Waypoint markers. Your quest objectives in the HUD. Okay, so it doesn't show... It, it, so, that's the wrong one. I do want the waypoint. I don't want the, the compass. Show responses while listening. Dialogue choices don't appear until the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, that'll ruin jokes, I think. Um, yeah. Companion outlines. Combat only. No, let's have combat only on. Cool. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can disable the one on the top. I'd be interested in that as well. Uh, you know, uh, I, I, I assume it's possible that uh, you're making like a slight side reference to the video Fallout 3 is garbage and here's why. Uh, the discussion in there specifically about the way in which games like this oftentimes incentive... Hang on, it's tech skills. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Uh, the ways in which games like this oftentimes accidentally incentivize looking basically exclusively at the compass at the top. Oh, so here's the ringleader. Just stagger you. I'm going to move... Off to the side, take some pot shots. Come on. No, 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 ringleader. Uh, I should have finished my reloading before I did TTD. Actually, no, TTD is going down really slowly. We're fine. Oh, thank you, Bavadi. Nothing personal, I swear. You're covering me better than I'm covering myself. Retrofitted heavy power armor. Okay, yep, yeah, we've got more to break down. Bullet 3 is garbage to me, but I don't remember any particular video with that name. I bet there are some out there. Yeah, there's one in particular that I would recommend by H Bomber Guy. I'd also, uh, just, like, in general, I would recommend, uh, H Bomber Guy. <laughs> Dudes are good, lad. I started watching back when, uh, back when he'd done his first measured response video. And the, the channel was, like, at 2,000 subscribers. It was tiny. Oh, It's lovely to watch someone blow up like that. Especially someone as deserving as H. I think I had done these, right? I don't think I read the... No, I haven't read those yet. Okay. <clears throat> to Elleridge C. Subject to your theories from Bartel J. Clement. Uh, all right. Voice. I need I need a voice, like a, like a, like a voice to do. Because I keep defaulting back to the same thing. Clement, I must find I disagree with your theories about... Like, I don't do that. Uh, German. All right. He's going to suck. Get ready, because <clears throat> I I don't I don't actually have like a good ear for German. It's just if I hear it, I can start echoing certain parts of it back. 
So basically, this this should get a little bit better over the course of it, but it'll still be really bad. That, it, John Wolf, it's funny you should mention that because the Sherlock video was one that he did after he kind of created a trend of this is bad and here's why. Um, being like a really, really popular thing. 